I'm going to show you how to use Siphon to send OBS output to a projection mapping app. You're going to need to download and install OBS, the OBS NDI plugin, the NDI tools, which includes the NDI monitor, Siphon, and the Siphon Inject app. The links and instructions are in the description below, and this procedure is for Mac OS. With OBS started, we're going to go to the Tools menu and select the NDI output settings and check Main Output. Now we're going to start the NDI Monitor app. I'm going to move that down out of the way. And then we're going to go to File and we're going to select the computer name and then we're going to select OBS to connect OBS to the NDI monitor. Now you see the OBS main output on the NDI monitor. Next we're going to open up the Siphon Inject app. With the Siphon Inject app open we can select the NDI monitor app and inject the siphon server by clicking the inject button. With the siphon server injected, we can open the siphon simple client and we should be able to see the OBS main window output in the siphon simple client. Just make sure that the NDI monitor is selected. And there we go, you can see the OBS main window output. And let's change the scene. Transition it, there you go. So now that we can use Siphon to output the main OBS window to an app, let's open up our projection mapping app, VPT8. You should be able to do this with any projection mapping app. I'm just testing it with VPT8. Now that the app is loaded, I'm going to open up an empty project. That's going to give me a layer to display my content on. So here you see we have layer one and layer one below the siphon inputs. Here's my injected siphon input. So I'm going to turn it on. If you need to, you can select the siphon input. And I'm going to just enable my preview screen and start the video in OBS. And we should see it in the preview screen. So disable the preview screen and then on layer one, set it to siphon one input. And we should see it in our preview and mapping windows. Now we can just manipulate the mapping geometry however we want and now we can project our OBS output onto some surface here you can see I'm just transitioning between a few different scenes so you can see how they're available in the mapping preview and mapping output now that we have a siphon source function in our projection mapping app, we don't need to keep the simple client open anymore. That was for just our initial tests to make sure that the siphon injection was working. So that's it. If you have a need to do some video projection mapping that includes OBS content, this shows you one way you can do that. Hope you enjoyed this tutorial.